السلام عليكم معكم زميلكم محمد القحطاني من الإدارة العامة لمكافحة العدوى وفي هذه المحاضرة إن شاء الله راح نشرح البيدياتريك في سيرفيلنس بروتوكول فروم ماي أدفايس بيفور سي ذا بيدياتريك في بروتوكول بيتر تو أتند ذا ليكتشر أوف أدلت في بروتوكول تو أندرستاند ذا كونسيبت إن يو كان سي ذا بيدياتريك في بروتوكول بيكوز إت إز ذا سيم with a small difference between the two protocols, we will explain it here in this lecture. Uh, the pediatric VAE protocol uh, has been released in January 2019. What are the pediatric VAE? It is uh, detected by uh, identification of deterioration in respiratory status after a period of stability or improvement on the ventilator using uh, 2K parameters. So the definition for pediatric VAE, we need worsening and oxygenation for at least two days after two days of stability or improvement on the ventilator. Uh, we will use uh, the, these two parameters, which is uh, the daily minimum FiO2, friction of oxygenation. And here we have a new parameters for pediatric VAE, which call mean airway pressure. So we need to uh, monitor these two uh, parameters uh, and this is different from the adult VA that we will use the main airway pressure instead of the daily minimum beep. It is similar to the uh, VA protocol on that the ventilator eligibility to enter uh, under VA surveillance protocol, uh, the date of event uh, identification and repeat infection time frame. Uh, the episode of mechanical ventilation, uh, location of attribution, transfer role, data analysis, all of this element is similar to the uh, adult VAE protocol with small difference from the VAE on that we will use the parameters mean airway pressure uh, instead of uh, the positive index respiratory pressure and the location that we will use this protocol it is the pediatric ICU and neonatal ICU. So this protocol is specific for pediatric ICU or pediatric, pediatric location and neonatal location. Also, we have here in pediatric VA protocol, uh, the definition for pediatric VA, we have only one definition, which is pediatric VA. We don't have a layer or level like the adult VA. There is uh, no FAC or IFAC or possible FAB in pediatric VA. Also, uh, for pediatric VAE, because we have one definition, only worsening and oxygenation for two days after two days of stability. So we don't have uh, secondary bloodstream infection after pediatric VAE. Uh, and uh, as we mentioned, uh, the pediatric VAE, according to the location, we will use pediatric VAE on pediatric location and neonatal location, the adult location, we will use the adult VAE protocol. Here, some of the modes that uh, eligible to be under pediatric VAE. We have uh, the first one, patient on specific mode of mechanical ventilation, like for example, high frequency oscillatory or jet ventilation, your Maslow Rams HFO. Uh, airway pressure release ventilation, like the adult VAE, it's also Eligible, but uh, very important to note that when this ventilation mode, we will uh, monitor the FiO2 parameter only as the uh, map or uh, the beep is not provided by this uh, mode of ventilation. Uh, Patients who are receiving conventional mode of mechanical ventilation while receiving surfactant, corticosteroid, brown positioning, uh, nitrous oxide therapy, helium oxygen mixture, and ibuprofenol. Uh, therapy, all of this uh, mode still eligible under pediatric VAE. Exclusion of pediatric VAE protocol, uh, patient on extracorporeal life support or paracarporeal membrane oxygenation, uh, as we mentioned, adult VAE, ECMO is excluded, non-acute care uh, location in acute care facility, uh, pediatric patient in adult location, so in surveillance uh, we are following the location. So uh, adult location, we will follow adult VAE protocol, pediatric and neonatal location, we will follow pediatric VAE protocol. This slide, uh, pediatric VAE surveillance algorithm, 
it summarizes the definition of pediatric FAE. As we mentioned, we have one definition for pediatric uh, FAE, which is worsening in oxygenation and the value of, of IO2 and uh, the main airway pressure that sustained for at least two uh, days and uh, this worsening uh, occurring after a period of stability of at least uh, two days on this two value. So uh, the, uh, we define the FIO2. Uh, it is the lowest value of IO2 documented during a calendar month that is maintained for one hour. So we will take the lowest value that maintained for one hour every day. And this is the daily minimum FIO2. The daily minimum map, it is the lowest value uh, documented during the calendar month. So the required uh, one hour is not present here for pediatric VAE in the map. Uh, very important to know also the, the map value for patient less than 30 day old. Uh, we consider the uh, value range from 0 to 8 are equal to 8. And the patient more than uh, 30 days, it is equal uh, to 10. Any value from 0 to 10, it's equal to 10. This is very important when uh, determination or identifying the pediatric VAE. We have another different uh, in the pediatric VAE uh, from the adult VAE. That's the worsening uh, in FIO2 that mean increase by at least 25%. It was 20 in adult VAE. Here in pediatric VAE, it's required increase by uh, 25 or more percent that sustained for two days. Also for uh, the daily minimum uh, map, it required increase in this value by four or more centimeter H2O to see this is a worsening on oxygenation and it is sustained for two days uh, after two days of stability or improvement. Daily minimum of IO2, as we uh, define this value, it is the lowest value uh, during a calendar day that is set on the ventilator and maintained for at least one hour. Uh, if there is no value has been maintained for one hour, we will take the lowest value uh, immediately. For example, if this value uh, recorded every 15 minutes, we have uh, we need to uh, have uh, five consecutive reading of the uh, FIO2 value to see this is maintained for one hour, and we will take the lowest value. Uh, here are example how to uh, define the daily minimum FIO2. We have this uh, record for the FIO2, and it's recorded every two hours, as you see. We will take, because it is recorded every two hours, we will take the lowest value immediately here. We have 0.40, which is 40%, which it is the lowest value. Uh, in the second example, it is recorded every hour. So we need two consecutive reading to see this is maintained for one hour. We will take the lowest value that uh, maintained for uh, one hour. Here uh, we have 0.5 or 50%. That is uh, for two records that mean maintained for one hour. Daily minimum map, uh, the map, it is the average pressure exerted on the uh, airway and the lung from the beginning of inspiration until the beginning of the next inspiration. Uh, the daily minimum of map, it is, as we mentioned, the lowest value documented during a calendar day, regardless of how long the value is maintained. So the requirement of one hour, it's not uh, necessary for uh, the daily minimum map. We will take the uh, documented uh, lower lowest value uh, during a calendar day to see if the worsening happened on this value or not. Again here the daily minimum map because it is very important for patient less than 30 day the map value uh, from 0 to 8 are equal to 8 the map value for patient 30 day or more uh, old uh, we will consider the value from 0 to 10 are equal to 10 this is very important in identifying the pediatric VAE by using the daily minimum map. This example uh, explain how to uh, identify the daily minimum map. We have this patient with multiple record of map during uh, one day. Uh, as you see here, the lowest value, it is uh, five. Let's take the laser. Uh, it is five here, but if you remember, the patient is less than 30 days, so the value from zero to eight are equal to eight. So uh, we will record the daily minimum map on that day 
as 8. You see, we will record it as 8 because the patient is less than 30 day and the value from 0 to 8, we, uh, we will put it equal to 8. This another example, if the patient is uh, 30 day or more uh, old, so we have this multiple record of map. We will take the lowest value. You see the lowest value, it is 5. But remember, the map value for patient 30 day or more uh, ranging from 0 to 10, we will put it equal to 10. So our daily minimum map on this day will be 10. The definition of uh, pediatric FAE again, we need to have a baseline period which is uh, at least two days of uh, stability or improvement in the value of FIO2 and MAP or MAP. Uh, and after that, there is worsening of oxygenation in this two value or one of these two value that mean increase in the daily minimum FIO2 by at least 25% uh, that sustained for at least two days or increase in the daily minimum map by at least for that sustained for at least two calendar day. This is the pediatric VAE definition as we mentioned before. Uh, this is example how to identify pediatric VAE. Uh, we have this patient less than 30 day old and remember that the daily minimum map uh, for patient less than 30 day uh, the value ranging from 0 to 8 are equal to 8. If you look here, any value uh, less than 8 will be put it as 8. Uh, if you look to day 4, we have increased by 4 uh, centimeter H2O in the map. Uh, after the period of stability, we have 2 days of worsening on oxygenation by 4, burst, 4 uh, centimeter. So the pediatric VAE is met on day 4. But uh, if the same example, uh, we put it on the patient for more than 30 days old, uh, we consider the value of the map uh, from 0 to 10 are equal to 10. If we look here, we have two, uh, two uh, map value 7, 7, we put it 10. So the pediatric VAE uh, not met on that condition because the worsening or increase is not reached to uh, 4 centimeter H2O. We don't have pediatric uh, VAE in this case. Uh, if we look to this uh, example here, we replace the uh, FIO2 uh, value in the previous example by 65. So we have now uh, two days of uh, worsening by using FIO2, and this worsening is happening after two days of stability on FIO2 value. And we will see uh, this value, it is uh, more than 25 or at least 25% increase for two days. So the pediatric VAE is met here by using the daily minimum FIO2. A pediatric VAE analysis on the same way for uh, adult VAE analysis. Uh, we can calculate the pediatric VAE rate by dividing the pediatric VAE event uh, above the ventilator days uh, and multiply by 1000. Also, uh, we can use the episode of mechanical ventilation by dividing the pediatric VAE event uh, divided on the episode of mechanical ventilation and multiply by 100. Uh, the rate and ratio it can be stratified by the location or by uh, the ICU time. In the neonatal ICU, it can be also stratified by the birth weight of the patient. In the same way, uh, ventilator utilization ratio, uh, it can be calculated by dividing ventilator days on the patient days, and uh, the, rate, uh, the ratio can be stratified by uh, the location and uh, by the birth weight in the neonatal ICU. Finally, thank you so much for uh, listening for this lecture.